This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. All right, this is the uh, last of three lectures on uh, Chapter 8 uh, on accounting for overheads. Uh, and in the previous lecture, I explained the distinction between um, production departments and service departments. And I said that once we'd allocated the costs and apportioned the costs between all the departments, if there's any service department, we then recharge it to the production departments. Uh, we did a little example, example five, which um, I hope you found very straightforward. However, it can get a bit more interesting if you look at example six, where there's inter-service work done. Look at example six and see what I mean. Uh, it says, allocated and apportioned overheads. Well, they've allocated and apportioned between four departments. So they've done exactly what we did in example four. They've done it for us. But this time with four departments, with X and Y, which are production departments, uh, and with um, stores and maintenance, which are service departments. And as I say, they've done most of the work for us. They've taken all the overheads and allocated and apportioned them between all four. So uh, they've ended up with 70,000 to X, 30,000 to Y, 20,000 to stores, 15,000 to maintenance. However, just like in the previous example, the service departments have to be charged to the production departments. Uh, we have to recharge them, depending on what work has been done. And look what it says. It says estimated work done by the service centres for the other departments. Uh, stores, 50% of the work is for production, 30% Oh, sorry, it's for Department X production. 30% is for Y, and 20% is for maintenance. So uh, let's recharge it. The stores, there's 20,000. We'll take that 20, and we'll recharge. Uh, and now we will recharge. It's 50% to X, so 10,000. It's 30% to Y which is 6,000, and it's 20% to maintenance, which is, what, 4,000. No problem. So we've recharged stores, uh, but in a similar way, maintenance is a service department, and we need to recharge that. So the total of maintenance now is 19,000. And let's recharge it. We'll take the 19,000, We'll recharge the other departments. Uh, and how do they work? Ah, 45% of their work is for production. 40% is for uh, production Y. Uh, oh dear, 15% is for stores. So 45%, 8550 to X, 40%, 7,600 to Y, and 15%, 2,850 to service. And of course we've got a problem. Although we've now recharged maintenance, service has reappeared, stores rather, has reappeared with 2,850. So we're going to have to recharge that 2,850. So take that 2850, recharge to the other departments. And how stores doing the work? 50% for production, which is 1425. Sorry, I keep calling it production, I mean X. But 1425, 30% for Y is 855. 
And of course, 20% is maintenance. 570. And you can see what's happening. Uh, maintenance has reappeared, so now we're going to have to recharge maintenance. And it goes on and on, although it doesn't actually take too long, as you'll see, because the amount is getting smaller each time. And because we don't worry about cents, we do things to the nearest dollar, it won't actually take very long. So, um, I don't know, if you're doing it with me, let's have a race. Let's carry on recharging. Let's take the 570. Uh, recharge maintenance. So 45% goes to X. Which is 257. 40% um, goes to Y. Which is 228. And the remaining 15% goes to stores eighty five uh, when you're rounding to make it faster uh, always the production departments round them up service departments like stores have rounded down uh, now we've got to recharge that eighty five so recharge stores. 50% to X is 43. 30% uh, to Y, 26. And the rest of it uh, is 20%, but because of rounding, maybe a dollar different. Uh, 85 minus 43 minus 26. 16. What's that 26? Yes, it was. Uh, 16 to maintenance. Uh, recharge maintenance. Oh, dear. Maintenance 45% to X is 7. 40% uh, to Y is 6. Uh, what's that, 13? So the remaining 3 uh, goes to stores. And I think now I'm going to stop because we recharge stores. Well, with only 3, 50% uh, uh, to X, 30% to Y. Well, we've only three left, and again, we're not going to worry about cents, it would be ridiculous. So I'll put two to X, one to Y, and we've finished. And so we've got rid of the service departments completely. Again, that recharging backwards and forwards, um, it gets smaller and smaller until eventually it becomes irrelevant. And what do we end up with in total? To the, for the production departments. For X, remember we had 70,000 in addition, 10,000, 8550, 145, 257, 43, 7, 2. I get 90284. Uh, and to Y, 30,000. 6,000, 7,600, 855, 228, 26, 6, 1, 44, 7, 1, 6. So, see what's happened. We take our overheads, we allocate and apportion them between all the departments, we did it in example four. In example six, it had been done for us, the first four figures. Any service departments we recharge. If there's only one, it's nice and easy, as in example five. If there's more than one and they're doing work for each other, 
then it means this backwards forwards business. And don't worry, although in theory there could be three service departments, four service departments, and so on, uh, if you get this in the exam, there, only, there will only be two service departments, so it, it won't get any messier. However, some people find that all a bit tedious, you know, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards. I don't actually think it's that bad, and it's very quick if you're good with your calculator. But there is an alternative way of arriving at the same solution. If you look at the question, it says reapportion service department costs to departments using a repeated distribution method. And that's what we've done. Uh, and certainly, tedious or not tedious, it should be fairly clear what's been going on. Uh, the alternative way, which gives exactly the same answer as you'll see, is to use what we call the algebraic method. So let's repeat the same question using the algebraic method. And watch me carefully, it's not hard. I don't know, some people love algebra, some people hate it. Uh, but watch carefully the way we sort it out. First of all, we write little equations plus service departments. I'm going to let S be stores and M be maintenance. Use any symbols you like, it should be fairly obvious why I've chosen S and M still. And let's write equations. First of all, for stores, the total for stores is the 20,000 we've already got at the start of the question. But in addition, they've got some of the maintenance. Some of the maintenance is being recharged to stores. And so how much of maintenance is being charged to stores? It says estimated work done by the service centres. Maintenance, 15% of maintenance is being charged to the stores. So 15% is 0.15. It's 0.15 of M. And similarly, we write an equation for maintenance. Uh, maintenance, from the beginning, we knew there was 15,000 in maintenance. But in addition, they've got part of stores work. And how much of stores is done for maintenance? It's 20% or 0.2. So I've now got two equations and two unknowns, S and M. And you should know from school, to be honest, that with two equations like that, we can work out values for S and for M. And how you do it is up to you. I mean, depends what you were taught at school. It doesn't matter. There's only one right answer. But I think the easiest is to do this. If we take that first equation, S is 20,000 plus 0.15 times M. Well, we've got an equation for M. So instead of M, it's 15,000 plus 0.2. S, which is what? 20,000 plus, well, 0.15 times each of the terms. So 0.15 times 15,000 is 2250. 0.15 times 0.2 of S is 0.03 S. If you subtract 0.03s from both sides, well, 1s minus 0.03s is 0.97s. So I've subtracted 0.03s. It's equal to 20,000 plus, 20, uh, plus 2,250, 22,250. And dividing by both sides by 0.97, S is 22,250 divided by 0.97, which is 22,938. 
And now we've got S, we can easily work out M, because if you look back at the equation for M, M was 15,000 plus 0.2 of S, which is 15,000 plus 0.2 times 22938. Sorry, I'm writing it stage by stage for everybody's benefit, but this you really should be able to do almost immediately on your calculator. 4588 19588 Again, I'm not worrying about cents in this sort of exercise. Go to the nearest dollar. So we've got values for S and M. Ah, but we're not quite there yet, because remember what we're after is the total cost for each of the production departments. And so watch carefully how we use those figures we've got. X and Y. Uh, first of all, remember we've already allocated and apportioned seventy thousand to X and thirty thousand to Y. The final figure though, is going to be higher because of stores, because of maintenance. So first of all, let's take stores. And what we do is we take the value that we've just calculated. So for S, 22938. So we take that amount. And how do stores do the work? Well, 50% is for X. 30% is for Y. So to X we give 50% of that 22938, 11469. And to Y we give 30% of the 22938, which is 6881. Uh, similarly, for maintenance, we take the figure we calculated a minute ago, which was 19,588. And how does maintenance do the work? 45% is for X, 40% is for Y. Well, 45% of 19,588 is 8,815. 40% of 19,588 is 7,835. And now we've got it. We end up with a total for X, 70,000, and what do we end up with for Y? 30,000, 6881, And what did we get before when we used repeated distribution? 98,24,41,16? Yeah, exactly the same. Doesn't matter which approach you use, the exam, because of the nature of the questions, they can't they can't insist you do repeated distribution or that you do algebraic. They can give you a question like that, but how you get the answer is your choice. Um, if you're good at algebra, perhaps do it the algebraic way. If you hate algebra and get all muddled, perhaps do it repeated distribution, because that's certainly more obvious what's happening. Um, even though it can take a bit longer, but if you're fast with your calculator, well, it's your choice, it doesn't matter. Anyway, have a look back over the, uh, the notes, the three lectures, um, and certainly that last bit, repeated distribution and algebraic. If you are happy with it, then as always, have a go at the online multiple choice uh, test uh, and check that you've got it.